in this lecture we are going to check for the duplicacy issue because we do not want two different users to use same id for accessing their gmail app okay so how can we prevent that thing that's what we are going to learn in this lecture what uh, you know this is the screen the user is going to come across when he will open the app for the first time let's hit this screen and see what is going to happen so this is where the app is going to redirect the user now for creating a new account the user is required to enter his name here let's create uh, an account with this name avi jan okay and date of birth Now here the user is required to enter an email address of his choice. So for now I am entering avi at the rate gmail dot com. Okay, let's check for the duplicacy of this email address, whether it already exists on the database of this app or not. Let's check that. So uh, you know we have got a message over here which says you may use this ID. So we can use it. Let's define a password for the ID. So here is the information we have entered avi jen and this is the email address so when we will hit this next button we'll come across this animation screen and this is avi's portal let's see what do we have got on the data browser so we have got two tables created over here this is where avi's information is stored this is a table in which avi's information is stored and this is a table emails is a table where avi's email id is stored okay now let's do one thing let's refresh the app again <coughs> and uh, let's use the same email id with which we have created avi's profile so as to create another profile for some other person okay uh and here we need to enter the uh, you know date of birth let's select the gender from here and let's use the same email address which we have used for avi for creating this uh, uh, portal now let's check for the duplicacy so we need to tick mark this check box over here so uh, you know an error is getting reflected over here email id already exists how can we get now we need to enter another email id right so let's get rid of this uh, error message first how can we do that just by clicking on this error message it will get removed and besides the check mark over uh, that was there earlier on this check box it was it is also going to get disappear let's use another email address uh, amit@gmail.com let's check for the duplicacy so now this error me this message is getting reflected over here which says you may use this id if you want to get rid of this message also you can do it by just clicking on this message okay so this is how we can check for the duplicacy let's hit this next button this is where the all the information is going to get reflected now this is amit's portal fine let's see what do we have got in this data browser over here so uh, there are three tables present over here in this emails table we have got the information of email addresses of the two people the profile of which we have created okay so that's how this app is going to work and we are going to learn now how can we code for checking the duplicacy issue of this gmail app let's dive into the code.org platform and see how can we code that thing in order to check the duplicacy issue the first thing that we need to do is we need to come on screen 7 okay this is the screen where the user is going to review all his accounts information now uh, you know when the user will hit this button automatically a table is going to get created in which 
all the information which the user has entered while creating his for creating his profile on this gmail app it is going to get stored in the in that table now let's do one thing here uh, let's create another table with name email ids in which we would like to you know store all the email ids of all the users who are going to register themselves on this platform so where can we get the email id from emails okay and here let's eliminate this thing and we can get the email id from here from this component email 7 okay i think we need to make use of this get text block yeah this is the one we can copy it and paste it here like this fine so when the user will hit this button this next button automatically two different tables are going to get created on the data browser of the app in one of the tables i'm going to have all the information of the user and in the other table with name emails we will be having the email ids of the user now for checking the duplicacy issue what is the thing that we require you know initially we are initially we are uh, you know checking <coughs> So after this, we need to come on screen uh, 6, sorry, on screen 5. So here, the user is going to enter his email address for the first time, right? So let's do one thing. Let's come on the code that we have defined for the components we have got on this screen. This is the one, you know, next 5 is a button, uh, which is there on this screen and this is a code we defined for this button now there is a small checkbox over here let's define an uneven block for this checkbox and here we are going to keep it checkbox and when the user will input will tick mark this checkbox I would like to do a duplicacy check for uh, on this table you know on this emails table that is going to get created when the user will hit this next seven button fine so let's do that let's uh, define the code for the same where is that yeah this is a one checkbox one so we can make use of read records block right in order to read the records from this emails table okay and what is the record that we would like to read from this email field that is there inside this emails table we would like to read the records for the email id that the user is going to enter here of his choice so let's make use of get text property again what is the id of this it is email 5 so we need to enter here email 5 like this and when the user will hit this button this checkbox button let's do one more thing let's define an if loop in order to check whether the you know uh, table is empty or it contains some records if records dot length is greater than zero okay this is the if loop we can use for checking whether you know it contains any data or not whether the table contains any data or not now let's open it and inside this we are going to have this for loop and we are going to close this if loop here fine now we have got two label uh, labels over here 
one is the error label and the other one is the success label if the duplicacy exists okay if this duplicacy exists we would like this error message to get reflected over here initially the user will not be able to see this error message because we have defined hide element property for this error message right on the top and uh, likewise we have defined the hide element property for this success element right on the top so they both the message messages will not be visible to the user initially if this email id exists if there are, if it is already there in the database i would like the user to sh show i would like the compiler to show this error message to the user the name of the id of which is error okay else else i would like the compiler to show the user the success message so we can copy this from here and we can put it here inside the if else part and instead of this we are going to have success now this is fine what else we would like to have uh, if suppose a user want to get rid of this uh, error and success message we can he can do it by clicking on these things how how can we provide the user that right by define by using this on even block for this uh, error message and where is that thing error if this error is going to come and he is going the user will click on this error message i want it to get disappear okay so this is how i can do it right besides i would like the checkbox also to get unchecked so set check property i think we can use that where is that set check property yeah, this is the one what is the id of this component it is checkbox one check box 1 and let's pass false value for this let's copy this whole code and use it for the success message so when the user will hit the success button i want to get rid of i would like to make this uh, error message go disappear besides i would like the success message also to get disappear on its own fine so this is how we can code everything now there is one error the user is going to come across see the email table is getting created over here when the user will hit this screen when the user will hit this next seven button that is there on screen seven this emails uh, table is going to create it at that point but what about the first user who is going to come on this screen 5 and when he will hit this next button okay when he so when the user uh, will hit this checkbox button this uh, you know records from this emails tables are going to get fetched okay but you know the issue is we do not have any such table created on the data browser of the app the table is going to get created on screen 7 right this is a screen when the user will hit this button this next 7 button this table is going to get created after that but what about the first user then so you know what is going to happen we are going to come across an error this code is going to throw an error just because there is no such table with name emails exists on this data browser so what we can do for uh, getting rid of this uh, getting rid of that error we can create 
a table with name emails on the data browser of this app how can we do that okay this is how we can define a name over here and let's hit this add button so as to add a table with name with name emails on the data browser now we have got a column that is email inside this emails table okay so this is how delete this so this is this is the emails table and this is the required field that we have got inside this emails table okay so that's how you can code everything and check for the duplicacy of the ids thank you very much for attending this lecture and watching this video and have a great day bye bye